Okay, so I'd like to help you solve a problem with this tutorial, and that problem is, um, let's say you have a scenario in which you have multiple Google Forms, and these Google Forms were used throughout the semester or a quarter as exit tickets. And so um, you want to put them all into one, so the students just click one link and they get they can go through all of them again for a review or for whatever you want to use it for. Um, not, not something you probably use all the time, but just in case you were trying to figure out how to get all of your separate Google Forms into one, here is a way to do that. So here is uh, an exit ticket I had in Google Forms that I'm going to then merge with multiple Google Forms. So um, first of all, if this is something you already used before, you have to make a copy of it. So you have a fresh spread spreadsheet for results. So um, in, the in the first one, uh, obviously you want to have a name, uh, and then whatever else you want to do to, to identify in the question. So in the response tab, you want to make the spreadsheet and you want to create a new spreadsheet. So we'll go create. Okay. And then of course pops up our new spreadsheet. So at this point, um, we want to take this exit ticket number two right here. We want to merge that with exit ticket number one. So for this one, we're going to go over to the um, send and we're going to get the link to share it. We'll just shorten it down. We're gonna get the link that we would send out for students to click to access it. And then we're gonna bring that link over to exit ticket number one. And in here, we're going to go up to the gear and we're gonna to go to presentation. The confirmation message, um, this is what we'll, it'll say to the student when they're done. So for us, um, we want to use this to help the two forms merge together. And then you provide them with this link and you save it. So when they finish their um, first Google form, exit ticket number one, that link will be available for them to click and then go right to exit ticket number two and just keep going. You want to include the name on each of them because these results are going to be going into different spreadsheets. Speaking of the spreadsheet, we're going to get um, get our spreadsheet so we have all of our results going to this one spreadsheet, not separate spreadsheets. Okay, so we want to try to merge this stuff together. Okay, so um, let's go to exit ticket number two. And for the responses for this one, second one that they, they, they work on, we have to create a spreadsheet. But this time we're going to go to select existing spreadsheet and we're going to go select. At this point, you will then just find the first form, the first spreadsheet exit ticket number one responses that you that you have that you just created and that's where we're going to send these results as well so now what's going to happen is you're going to get a spreadsheet that has two tabs form response number one which you can then rename to number one form response two is what we just hooked up from exit ticket number two so we can rename that Okay, and if you want them to go in order, you can you can uh, easily rearrange those tabs. So now um, the student will go through exit ticket number one, click the link, go through exit ticket number two, and then we will have all results in one spreadsheet based on the various tabs you created. So hope this helps. Trying to solve a problem with merging multiple Google Forms into one. Thank you, and have a great day.